Hello and welcome to Can TV 21 Hotline. Let's talk etiquette. I just <laughs> love that word etiquette. My name is Nathan Wright and I'm with the Etiquette Foundation of Illinois and I am the Executive Director and we're so pleased to be with you once again. We do have an awesome subject to cover today. But first, I'd like to introduce my very special co-host, Miss Georgia Salmon, etiquette maven extraordinary. <laughs> Welcome, Georgia, to another wonderful Can TV. Thank Let's you. Talk Etiquette Hotline. Thank you, Mr. Wright. It is indeed a pleasure to be again on the Let's Talk Etiquette show and yes. co-host. Thank yes. you very much for the opportunity. You're quite welcome. Last week was a great show. This week is going to be an awesome show. We're going to pivot a little bit away from parenting to take on another really profound subject. And I'm sure our audience would connect with it and appreciate it as we get into it. But I'm going to put that on the overhead so that we can start the show off and you can see what our subject today is. It's called the deliberate dumbing down of America, the social and moral consequences on society. And I'm certain many of you that's over the age of perhaps 30, <laughs> 20, 25 or 30, will have heard that title before, Dumbing Down of America. And so we want to talk about that simply because it involves manners, when you're dumbed down, you, don't, you aren't as polite, you aren't as considerate, and it involves morals. And that is really the foundation of our whole concept and approach to this grand, grand, grandness of subjects. And I see we have a phone call, but I'd like to, if you could Already. hold on for a moment, just hold on one moment. I want to give Ms. Sam an opportunity to respond to the heading for the show. I, um, I, when we decided to do Dumbing Down of America, I was like, wow, this is going to be quite a subject and topic to discuss today. I hope that people uh, call in yes. with your comments and your ideas about Dumbing Down. Yes. When you look at the definition of Dumbing Down and you know what it means and it's all intentional, it's really kind of uh, heartbreaking because we, when you, uh, Mr. Wright, why don't you read the definition <laughs> okay. and then we can go on and elaborate in conversation. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to put it up so that uh, our audience can also see the definition. And this definition is from Wikipedia. And I'm, I apologize about the size of the type. Uh, didn't get it large enough for you to read clearly, but let me start. Dumbing down is the deliberate oversimplification of intellectual content within education, literature, cinema, news, video games, and culture in order to relate to those unable to assimilate more sophisticated information. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A mouthful, right? <laughs> and so we, I guess we can go ahead and, and uh, talk to our caller. Caller? Yeah, good evening to y'all. This is James. Okay. James, how are you, James? Okay. Now, okay, you know Donald Trump, right? The president, Donald Trump? Yes, the president. Now, okay. He, he, uh, now, what I'm saying, he pointed fingers about all the violence and stuff. He pointed at the politician and stuff. And then, when I had called in the week before last, and they, okay, they, that lady who called after me, said I don't blame the mail, don't, don't blame the police chief. Then, why Donald Trump blame the police chief? By all well, the he, James, how, why James, he blaming the, the, the politician, Donald Trump. That James, the subject is for today's show is dumbing down of America. So, if you can uh, give us your reaction to that subject or make a comment about it, then we would greatly appreciate it. So give us some thought, listen to the show for a minute, and call back. Would you do that for me? Okay. Bye. Appreciate it, James. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this subject is just such a profound subject because we now know that it has been done very deliberately. 
Yes. And, and go ahead. Sorry. Now, that's the scary part. You know, it's pretty frightening when you know that um, a word exists to trivialize education and to and and it's 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 a it's specifically appealed to uh, the less educated. Yes. That troubles at my spirit <laughs> because you see it. You know, we see it every day. We yes. see that uh, people are not young people, and not just young people, but people are not being challenged educationally. Right. They're being allowed to um, use improper uh, language and, and speech, yes. and the whole dress attire is a reflection of this uh, uh, dumbing down culture. Right. And it, 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 I'm offended by it, quite yes, frankly. Yes, yes, I'm yes. troubled by it, yes. quite frankly. Yes. And I think that we need to find some ways to uh, combat that whole concept yes. because it's affecting our uh, communities, our families, our youth in the worst kind of way. It is. I'm offended by that, Absolutely. quite frankly. Absolutely. And now that we are more aware that it's a deliberate process, yes. that all of the institutions have joined in to that process, and that's what makes it so tragic, because we could be a, certainly a much better people uh, if we uh, had put in the work and the effort to raise the standards in society as opposed to lowering them. Yes. To where dress doesn't really, you can do whatever. Everything is open to whatever you want to conclude. And so long as you aren't breaking any legal laws, you are able to get away with it. And we see it in the schools, we see it on the streets, we see it in the stores. It's, an, and it's just a sad thing. So we do have some bullet points. I want to put up here so the callers call please call us call us at 312-738-1060 again 312-738-1060 give us a call and join in with us on this grand subject and so I'm going to go to the overhead again Ms. Selman and the first bullet is well let's read that byline the social and moral consequences on society on the family, on the family. How is this impacting, this dumbing down, impacting our families? I mean, I see it, you see it, but I think, you know, most of us in society really don't see it. They feel it, they have an idea, but they don't really see the, con the deliberate connection that goes into bringing about something this very rudimentary but very complicated. And, yes. Well, well I, I don't think that people are truly aware of the dumbing down in society in America. And mm -hmm. I think our platform should help uh, promote what that is. Yes. What it is to be dumbing down. Right. Uh, yes. allowing, intentionally allowing our children to um, trivialize education. Yes, yes. Um, to not um, make education as challenging for them as it should be. Absolutely. In yes. other words, allowing them to speak uh, poorly. Give some examples of this <laughs> well, language. I, <laughs> language uh, well, issues that know, we hear I, all the time. I, I'm, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm, I'm around youth quite frequently. Right. I'm, I'm very involved um, um, in, in my community. Yes. I'm involved in the school system. Yes. And I hear children yes. say such phrases like, is you. Is you. Uh, <laughs> you is. And I'm appalled by that. <laughs> I'm appalled by it because it, it you can't go into corporate America feeling comfortable is speaking you? like that. You, it, it, is it, you coming it's, back later? <laughs> and it, it it's so natural for some young people, and I immediately stop them, and I'll say it's something so like, "Excuse me, <laughs> right? Excuse what did you me, say? what did you say?" And they'll pause. And they know the proper 
phrase. They know how to speak properly. Right. Be but because it's so acceptable sometimes in the homes, yes. it's so acceptable in the community. And often, believe it or not, some teachers will not correct that because their their position is, well, that's a cultural thing. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. That has been said to me, and I know it's been said to you as well. It's and not going to fly in corporate America. No. It's that language, not that for, language is not going to get you in the door. No. <laughs> and that's dumbing, dumbing down. Yes. And we as leaders in our homes, in our communities, in our uh, uh, um, whatever environment you're in, yes. or entity, we have to bring back and promote. We have to promote yes, the importance of excellence. Absolutely, absolutely. A key word, excellence. And that's across the entire social, economic, political stratus. That includes society as a whole. Excellence is an important word. But we see, we're doing a class now, and we're teaching etiquette to teenagers, and we see it in the classroom where the young men have never had a suit in their life or have no clue whatsoever on how to tie a tie or how, which is, what's the difference between a salad fork and a dinner fork? I mean, these are just basic common kinds of things that, you know, they're so used to eating out of bags and boxes and maybe, of course, with their hands, and maybe they may have a plastic fork. Yes. And, but they don't know the difference between these little simple items that should be part of their education. And it's so foreign to them. They, well, why is that important? I why is that important? Why well, well, do I need to know the difference in a salad fork and a dinner fork? So we, we see this, and these kids are really being, really, they're being dumbed down. <laughs> so that they will fit a narrative and their aspirations and their uh, ideas of what they can become is closed. Yes. It's closed. And we see it. And we challenge the children and the students every day, every time we're there with them. But surprisingly, mm -hmm. they're very receptive. They are. They're very receptive. Um, the... the um, the subject that we taught this week on fine dining, uh, European style mm -hmm. and American style, and they get an opportunity to learn how to fold napkins in various excited. ways. Excited. They were excited. And they learned the difference in a soup spoon and a tablespoon. Right. And how to eat uh, <laughs> a, a soup spoon that's, uh, uh, versus a um, a cream soup, soup spoon. spoon. Right. <laughs> you know, the the lesson is so interesting. They were so attentive and so excited about the, the subject matter. Yes. And they were so engaging. Yes. So I know, I know that this. if it's introduced, yes. if it's introduced, <laughs> yes. if the schools yes. and other entities will allow the information, they will be receptive to it. They will. And you never know. You're right. <laughs> one day, one day, down the road, yes. they may encounter an experience yes. where they have to use these different manners right. <laughs> and morals. <laughs> yes. You never know. You never know. And this is what we're, we're, we're about as an organization. We're about preparing our young people to be the greatest that they, their imagination will allow them to be. Absolutely. And if they have the tools, the utensils, <laughs> be they at the table aware, if they have those skills, then they can profit from it. Yes. They can benefit from it. And that's our role. That's our job. That's our mission. Yes. You know, as an organization, to give them the equipment they need to go wherever their imagination will allow them yes. to go. And so this is what it's all about. And this is why we are talking about this subject of dumbing 
down America, not dumbing down Chicago or dumbing down New York, but dumbing down the entire country. Yes. <laughs> America. Yes. And so the next uh, subject on this is, of course, education. We were talking about that a few moments ago. But it's, it's not just in the elementary or high school. And we've read some articles, you read some articles on this whole process of dumbing down. It's also at the college level. It's, 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 it's educationally, it's in our education communities. Yes. We have, we have to stop trivializing, trivializing and making education shallow. Yes. We have or to, limited. Limited. Yes. We have to um, emphasize the importance of education and how it can have our students to think critically. critically having, thinking, yes. Absolutely. And to have our students uh, more challenged mm -hmm. about different subjects, mm -hmm. especially the English language. Oh. Especially the English language. So true. It has to come from home first. It has to come, yeah. And we do that. We teach parents parenting, and that's part of our mission to do that because, unfortunately, that's another ball that dumbing down has rather trivialized and, in some cases, almost eliminated. They, they're just caretakers of these kids and not really involved in developing their child to be the best that they can be. And, but sad, <clears throat> tragically, is that it was by design. Yes. This was by design. Yes. And society has bought into that, which is damaging for our children. Yes. Our children are being damaged, not just, to, but people. People in general. And yes. it's at the bottom of this whole degeneracy and the violence. People are more receptive to this ongoing violence through video games. They're more receptive, they're more tolerant. Let me reword that. They're more tolerant to allow their children to play these very dangerous, violent video games or to watch movies that they shouldn't be watching that's ultra violent from the beginning to the end. And I have gone to the movies just to see for myself how violent these movies are. It's incredible. That, and I see the parents with their children sitting there right in the theater. And so at the college level, and of course we're, we do colleges, and it's not that much of a difference in the students that's in the high school, socially, behaviorally. Well, you know, and it's like you said, it's it, it's, it's a cultural, it's a <clears throat> phenomena. It's it's all it's all over. Yes, it's in almost every entity, and that's one of the reasons why it's so important, and and uh, that people understand that there's a culture of dumbing down our communities, dumbing down our children, dumbing down education. Mm -hmm. It should not be tolerated. It certainly should not be. And People have to take a stance absolutely. against dumbing Absol down. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a value system that's on their soul. You know, when you teach your children values, if they, if the values are, are, are not so, like just having good manners, being polite, being courteous, that's a value system. And if that's under assault, then how do you anticipate or expect your child to be all they can be when they don't even have the basics, the simple stuff like thank you very much or please may I or you're welcome. Those are just fundamental basics. But we see it every day, including the young ones and the older ones do, do not even have a clear of how that relates to being civilized or being, you know, able to do a great deal with their life rather than have a very limited life. Lowering that, the level of education. Yes. Lowering the, the level of, uh, of teaching. I just don't understand how we can do that. I know that we're mandated to do specifics, but we need to make sure that those sp specifics are inclusive of great morals yes. and manners. Manners, yes. And not yeah. accepting anything less from our children. Parents, yes. it's your responsibility first. Absolutely. And once it's instilled in the home, 
then we should ensure that our education communities are on the same page. Yes. And it's enforced educationally. Yes. Absolutely. And this is, we've been advocating this for more than 20 years. And uh, we're not giving up. And, not at all. And we're going to continue to charge forward. I'm going to move and point up the next uh, subject uh, under this uh, dumbing down. And uh, of course, on business enterprises, uh, and you could you could share a story that you were in one of the major major department stores today, and you took note of uh, the dress attire of the uh, yes. manager of the store. And very very mm -hmm. a major store uh, in the Chicagoland area, and um, uh, I needed to see the manager for a situation, and uh, very smart, very articulate young lady, young woman, and um, her dress attire just threw me completely off. Now she's young, very uh, smart, and very articulate, and her dress attire was very, like, it was like, wow, you know, mm -hmm. uh, dumbing down. Right. In your appearance. In your appearance, right. Dumbing down in your appearance. Yes. And Unacceptable. Yes. Back in the day. Yes, absolutely. A manager back in the day. And this was a major. This wasn't like down on the lower level of uh, stores. In, right. In, in the history of it, it's just at the top of the food chain store. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I, I was kind of floored. I said, my God. I said, we are dumbing down in all aspects of Society. Absolutely. You would have thought with her level of intelligence and articulation or, or, that she would also Or level of posi us, position. Position. Her position. She was right. a manager. She's a manager. manager. And so you would assume that with that position and that title, you would have seen the dress attire of a manager or a person at that level. Yes. And uh, this is, if it was a small dime store, you would say, okay, perhaps... Uh, but to be a manager in a major department store, yes, uh, your dress attire is absolutely essential because what are they selling? They're selling professionalism. They're selling a high-end culture of those who are supposed to be more cultured, and therefore you would shop here because the 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 garments and those things are at the higher level of uh, professionalism. So it was. It's all intentional, people, mm -hmm. and that's what we are uh, we are putting out there. It's intentional. We need to change that. Absolutely. We need to we need to uh, think more of tr our traditional values yes. and morals. Get back to tradition, because believe it or not, when you walk into corporate corporate America, mm -hmm. tradition is there. Right. Tra tradition is there. It is. And it's not going anywhere. No. So they're gonna, they're gonna turn you down on one little slip. <laughs> I don't know how this young lady had to get had to get by because she was extremely bright. Yes. But we yes. need to go back to some basic traditions. Yes. How to present yourself, how to look, how you express yourself. So so very important. Very important. And when you think about the fact that dumbing down is intentional mm -hmm. and I don't know who it's to weed out but you <laughs> don't targeted. want to be or targeted <laughs> but you don't want to be a part of that target you want yes. we want and we're advocating presenting yourself to be the best that you can be absolutely by all of the standards that this society has set for you and set for everyone uh, another example of that is the young men and the suits we donated to those, those young men. They became totally different people. They, they became a it's belt. amazing. That when he put the belt on, and he, the, the boys, the young men, walked differently. They, their body language was more sophisticated and different. So it's, it's, it has an impact once it's introduced. And it doesn't fail. We've we've seen this with a nothing whole variety. Nothing but success. Nothing but they talk differently. They even talk better in that suit 
they do <laughs> normally talking. They, they make a deliberate effort to improve their whole presentation yes. just simply because of the garment that the they're garment. wearing. Garment. So it makes a difference. It does. So let's hit this other subject because we're running uh, close to the end of the show. And the other subject, of course, is on religious institutions. And of course, um, for those who are members of a, a church or a synagogue, uh, you know that historically and traditionally, you would put on your very best to go to worship with your fellow parishioners. And that was an important outing, an important event in your week. Yes. And so for some reason, I've gone to some of the churches, some of these bigger churches, and I have seen some of the worst kind of dress among our women and our children. And when, of course, when I grew up, my parents put a suit on me. When I went to church, I had what I look like now on. Well, and we that had, was standard. We had, we had uh, Sunday clothes, we had school clothes, we had birthday clothes, and all, all kinds of different clothes. We are uh, coming to a close, yes, Mr. Wright, yes. and I know we're going to pick this back up next we week. We're going to uh, proceed next week yes. with uh, some of the with this dumbing down dumbing because down. it's a so, it's a it's a huge topic, yes. and we cannot uh, afford to let it go without addressing as absolutely. much as we possibly can. Absolutely, you're right. You're absolutely right. So yes, we will be back next week with this great subject. This societal subject that's affecting all of us in this society. And we want you to chime in, to call us. If you didn't get a chance this week, of course, do, do it next Wednesday. And we do look forward to seeing you or to hearing from you. You can call us uh, during the week. You can email us. You can make all those contacts with us. And actually, I should have oh, had... Right okay, well, I'm the, our number... You can call us at 708-754-2589. Uh, Again, 708-754-2589. I do look forward to hearing from you. And uh, until next week, we will continue with this grand subject of dumbing us down. <laughs> we won't let it go that easy. So I'd like to say good evening to you, and I'll leave the last word to Ms. Sullivan. Have a wonderful week. And enjoy. Enjoy.